Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Lucille Brown. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for our second finalist, we bring you Miss Esther Anderson and Ted. To us. No, no, to you. To us. To you. You know, imagine us being here together again after all of these years. Seems like only yesterday. Oh, I remember. Where was it? <laughs> Down by the old <laughs> mill stream. It wasn't a stream, it was a lagoon. Goon. <laughs> Where I first met you. That wasn't me, that was my sister Elizabeth. <laughs> and your eyes so blue. They wasn't blue, they were brown. How'd you like two black ones? <laughs> Dressed in gingham too. That was polyester sucker. <laughs> yeah, polyester, that's you. Half woman and half parrot. <laughs> it was there I knew. You don't know nothing. That I love you true. I gotta throw up. <laughs> I was 16. That was your shoe size. <laughs> your village queen. Queen Kong. <laughs> Down by the old Number three, Mrs. Mabel Johnson! <laughs> Who will be Mrs. Watts Businesswoman of 1975? Will it be Mrs. Lucille Brown? No way! Or will it be Mrs. Mabel Johnson? Oh, you know better than that! Or will it be Mrs. Esther Anderson? Yeah! We accept! We accept! Judges, may I have the final decision, please? And who will be the winner is of the 1975 Mrs. Watts Businesswife, 